This small group of activists are protesting the detention of 27 indigenous Mapuche people, including their leader Celestina Cordova, who's accused of murder. But police in the Chilean capital, San Diego, responded with this. President Sebastián Piñera has promised to crack down on violent indigenous protests. We're here to support the Mapuche political prisoners who are on hunger strike. We're supporting Celestino and... Amnesty International is calling on the Chilean government to establish dialogue with the prisoners. In this public letter, it says it's extremely concerned with the conditions they're being held in. 19 of the detainees on hunger strike are still awaiting trial. The government accuses them of terrorism. There's been a rise in violent protests in the last three months. The armed Wichan Alka Mapu rebel group set a factory and dozens of trucks on fire just over a week ago in the southern Araucana region where 1.7 million Mapuche people live. On Friday, President Pinara met angry truck drivers who are threatening to go on strike because of the arson attacks. At least 50 people have been arrested recently. The violence has included destruction to a couple of municipality buildings and a radar at a regional airport as well as a train derailment. The majority of the indigenous people in Chile live in poverty. Most of their land has been sold off and deforested over the years. There is no constitutional recognition. In Chile there is a long-standing debate about autonomy, about the ability of these groups to self-regulate uh, within the boundaries of their territories. Nothing like that has ever happened in, in, in a long time. So there are all these struggles that obviously are also related with the existence of um, terrorist acts and, and violence, even from the state. So we talk a lot about, um, about groups that people are deemed as terrorists, but also you have to remember that in the case of Chile, the Chilean state has murdered several members of indigenous, um, the indigenous groups. Mapuche activists accuse the government of failing to uphold their historical land rights. But the government insists it is open to dialogue without violence. Zara Khairat, Al Jazeera.